okay the light's not great but good morning uh, I'm on my way to the subway I'm headed to my internship for the day uh, if you're new here I'm Anna May welcome to my channel um, I'm currently interning at the United Nations in New York and it's the start of like the Thanksgiving long weekend so um, I'm on early release today I'm gonna try and get my COVID booster this just start this vlog off here so I've left work I released myself even earlier than the early release and I've officially been to two places and they said they don't do walk-ins for boosters so I might have to make an appointment but I'm gonna try some places in Brooklyn first so an update no luck at Dwayne Reed or CBS. I'm gonna try and go to the place in Brooklyn. I think I said that. Um, I'm just gonna have a snack and change out of my work outfit. Even though it was kind of cute and I wanted to take a picture, but too late. It's officially puffer coat season. Oh, this is a lot of bulk. <laughs> but I am going to walk to this random pharmacy that thankfully someone very kind on Instagram suggested to me. And I think it might be the same place that one of my coworkers went. I forgot to ask her where she went before she left, but she was like, it was just this random pharmacy. It was like a really small little place. So that's what this looks like on Google Maps. So, and she's like in the same area. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, I just had a little snack. I guess I'll just go from there. I mean, and I was just talking to my friend, like there's no appointments anywhere for COVID boosters. So I'm really gonna have to do walk-in. If I want to get it in the next two weeks and I really want to get it like as soon as possible because I didn't explain this because I started this vlog really quickly but um the reason I'm so adamant is because I got super sick with my regular I wasn't sick but I had a negative experience afterwards you know side effects I feel like weird saying side effects I wasn't like actually sick I just felt awful <laughs> after my first vaccine and I just got Johnson and Johnson now they've come out saying like we always knew it was weaker but that was always fine because I wasn't I was just like living at home I was fine now I'm in New York City I work in an office and I live with random people and I take the bus and the subway every day and they've also just come out and said in the US they're saying you should get a booster after two months of after getting your J&J &J. and even in Ireland they're saying after three months so given that I'm eligible here I'm just really gonna try and get one if I can't I mean that's just how it is but um and I want to get it now because I don't have work for a couple days so I'm not going in on Friday also I don't know if I mentioned that it was decided that I would not go in on Friday so I need to tidy up here I'm gonna order some things because there's some sales happening, like some Thanksgiving sales, Black Friday-ish, Wednesday, and yeah. It's only like 10 minutes away, which is nice. I would like to give a major shout out to Santa Maria Pharmacy, because your girl's boosted. Woohoo! The woman who did it, she, she did not hesitate whatsoever. I'm gonna insert a photo of the setup here. It was a little bit, unusual it was just i was just you know in the middle of the pharmacy but boosted good to go happy about it i'm so happy with myself now that i've got my booster <laughs> i'm just like mm, good to go get shake shack or something a little treat um and hoping i don't feel so bad but really glad i got it done i, I cannot emphasize how wild shit was in that place but uh you know what i'm gonna suggest it to people because it was that easy and at other places they were making it like they were looking at me like you want a booster here they were like yep so it's a I guess it's a good day I am back with Shake Shack in tow I got myself a shake in fact I went all out I'm ready to have a quiet night so I look really rough uh, <laughs> I am starting to get a little bit chilly which I'm just like, oh no, 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 no. So I'm gonna take some um, paracetamol or something. Um, I'll see what's best to take. Yeah, I'm sure I won't feel like as bad as I did before. Like I don't expect to feel like that, but I also don't wanna feel like crap. So I'm gonna tidy up in here a little bit and take those. And then I bought like some nice um, 
like I bought a Gatorade and I bought a Diet Coke so I could have beverages, you know, to stay hydrated. Um, and I'm gonna switch on the heating in here, but it, it's probably chills. Um, it's probably not that cold in here. My Shake Shack was fine. I feel like I'm always disappointed in Shake Shack and I should stop getting it. Um, but tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I don't actually have any plans. Um, because, like, I'm only here, like, a month, like, barely a month, not a month yet. And, um, it's just, like, not something that I celebrate. So, because I'm, like, not American. So it's just, like, a random day off work. Or two days off work. So I kind of wrote the day off because I was planning on getting a booster today. So and then for the weekend I really don't have any plans. I thought I was gonna go into work on Friday, but apparently I'm not. So I'm just gonna like get cozy in needlepoint. And I think that is all I'm gonna do this evening. Good morning. I forgot I was vlogging. Um I'm completely fine. Um I'm a little achy, my arm is really sore. Obviously I'm still that little bit of the cold that everyone in my office has but yeah i feel completely fine which is nice uh i didn't want to go to the parade or anything i just didn't really want to like stand in a crowd so i'm actually going to try and take outfit pictures for the first time since i'm here i do have a tiny tripod so i'm going to try and take them like just in this area um hopefully they turn out okay follow me on instagram if you want to see if they did um but I'm going to attempt to do, to do that and based on how that goes I might do another one or else I might just get changed into like comfy clothes and I'm going to go on a big walk and that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to have a very chill day given that it is like a big holiday here. I'm thinking I might go to the Met tomorrow to see um, a lexicon of fashion. I think that would be fun because uh, I'm not going to do any like big Black Friday shopping or anything like that. Um, I did a lot of needle pointing last night, so I want to do a lot more of that. And I actually wouldn't mind going to a needle point store because I need to get some threads for another canvas that I can start because this one I'll be done pretty soon. So that's up in the same area as the Met. That's kind of the plan for today. Um, I really need to tidy up in here. It is wild, um, but my arm is really sore. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't even count that as a side effect. I nearly met my death last time, so... I'm just glad I'm feeling okay. I switched my clothes and I'm on my little walk now. Um, I'm in Greenpoint and it's so nice and quiet, but it's all autumnal, it's just lovely. When I walked past earlier, the place I was hoping to get cake from for watching the Bake Off finale is open. So I'm gonna go do that. I took the pictures outside. I'll insert one here. They turned out okay, but I took a lot of photos and they, most of them were terrible. So I just need to figure that out, I guess and get a bit more creative with things and I'm just gonna walk for a little bit more. It's so pretty by the water. I need to try to buy my way back now because I did actually get the vaccine yesterday, like the booster, and I'm like, mm, on top of the like little cold which is starting to clear, but um, yeah not not ideal um but it's so pretty by the water here um but i think it's like 20 minutes walk home so not a big deal and i can get some cake on the way uh okay so <laughs> last few hours i've been you know very i was very chill i was watching i can't even remember what i was watching now some random youtube videos having a good time i ate some lunch slash dinner um, after I got back from my walk and I got my cake and everything and I was lying there and then I suddenly I feel something in my ear and I'm like oh my god what is that and it is the bottom ball of my rook piercing that fell out and then I spent I don't even know what time it is at least half an hour 40 minutes for yeah no I would say over 40 minutes freaking out about it and trying to put back in uh which I did not successfully do it was just the ball part of it, but I couldn't screw it back in. Like, I just can't. And it's not even like there's anyone to ask around here. Because I, I wouldn't really ask my roommates because I don't know them very well. But also, like, they're not even here if I didn't want them to. Um, So I switched it to... I have this hoop up here, which I, funny enough, don't like that much. Um, And I... Because it's, like, it's got sharp edges, so it's, like, 
it's just not great. It's fine now because this one is very healed and it's fine, it hangs out in there. But you can see, look how red my ear is. Um, you can see the little hoop, like it looks cute, but it's got really sharp edges. So it's like digging into it, it barely fits. I really had to like <laughs> squeeze to click the clicker, closed. So this really stings right now because the hoop is too tight. Um, and I've considered trying to put the regular bar back in, but it's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna happen. I'm just hoping this calms down in the next few hours because it is ow. Um, I'm going to, whoa. don't know what way I was holding my phone there. Um, I still haven't tidied up because I've been busy doing this. Um, so I'm gonna tidy and clean and I'm going to um, crack out my piece of cake and watch Bake Off and make a plan for tomorrow. Good morning. Um, it's not a good morning, um, it's fine. I'm trying to open a US bank account, so obviously I have no makeup on, B. Let me start from last night. I was gonna watch Bake Off and eat some cake. Bake Off is actually not available until Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, today is Friday. So it is a good day because I don't have work, but at the same time, I'm like I'm not doing much um I have so much to do here because it is an absolute like I can't even show you how bad and messy my room is but I'm gonna do a lot of cleaning but I was trying to open a US bank account um I think this is like the part of moving abroad or like traveling like long term that people just disregard you know because you're trying to open a bank account so that you have but you so you're trying to open a bank account but you need proof of address and then you're going to get a utility bill right you know that's what you need but so i'm like okay i guess my phone is probably the only thing because complicated thing but with my rent it doesn't have like the exact address on it so i was like okay let me try my phone bill and then i go into my account for t-mobile and then i realize because also you have to set up a phone that's annoying and then because it's just better to have it in emergencies but then i realize that i I'm really close to having to pay my next, you know, like my next payment for T-Mobile, but I can't pay it because they won't take my international cards. So I can't get my proof of address because I need this and need that. So anyways, I have renter's insurance. So I have the paperwork for that. I'm gonna go walk to a place that I can get stuff printed at. I have like the little release code. It's worked for me before, thank God. But, um, and then I'm gonna like gather all my other paperwork so I'll just pick that up and then on the way, it's really close, there's a Chase bank here. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and just try and hold it together because I feel like this is just one of the worst, I just hate doing this. Um, but you know, it's gotta be done. Um, but yeah, I think this is one of the things that people like forget about all the time when you live abroad. And it's just complicated because it's like tax, but then because my internship is not paid, it's like, it's all just very confusing. So I am going to gather like every official document I own, um, put on my big girl pants and go to bank, and try and open a US bank account. But then afterwards, God willing, I get a bank account. Afterwards, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's or I think I might put on some wash and then go to Trader Joe's and come back. Maybe I'll get some Taco Bell, I don't know. And then come back and like really intensely tidy this place cause it is bad. So that's my Friday. Just the not so exciting parts of living abroad. So I'm the worst, <laughs> I forgot to film, but it was very stressful. Um, it actually wasn't that stressful. I need to like settle down. To cut the long story short, I have a checking account now so that's fab um i should be getting my card soon enough so that's nice all good and i have to you know thank one special guest here and that is my bagel <laughs> i was hungry and i was like this isn't gonna happen without a bagel so i went to bagel smith there's one near me and um i feel much better so stupid towel hanging there it bothers me but there isn't another place to put it so 
And yes, it is a over the door hook that doesn't fit over my door. So it's on a storage box that I have weighted down. So that's my spiel. Sorry I didn't bring you with me. I'm gonna, you know, start to tidy up in here, put these sheets on for a wash and other stuff on for a wash and then head to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna finish my bagel and then I just feel like, okay, I did that. Big thing is now completed and I can just get all the little things in my life organized. Back from Trader Joe's, I actually just tidied or like cleaned the fridge because the fridge is a little bit gross. So I'll show you my, my little section here actually. I have some like a burrito and I have pasta and stuff in there, fresh pasta. Um, and then these sparkling apple juices are really good. I'm not gonna do a haul because I think that's kind of strange. I don't know, I don't get it. Got some of these cheese sticks because although it's kind of weird, they're great. And then this is my cake for later. As I said, I'm not really gonna go in depth, but there was like nasty stuff all over the fridge. So I kind of claimed that bottom drawer as my own. I hadn't before. Um, I was just using like the little shelf area. So I kind of keep like dairy products in the little container with the closure that you see the cheese sticks in, which I was like, that's so stupid. Like, why would you want to have those little cheese sticks, like cheese strings for kids? Mm. Actually a really good snack, not gonna lie. Um, so then I get some of those sparkling apple thing. They're so good. Um, I'm armed with my spray. I want to tidy up the bathroom because I have to get toilet paper um, because I share a bathroom with someone else. So I'm gonna tidy up in there because I'm home alone at the minute because um, everyone's gone for Thanksgiving, so I'm in the kitchen. And then I'm gonna like really tidy and clean my room, but I'm gonna switch my laundry first because I'll just get frustrated then when I won't be able to put the sheets on my bed and whatever, but I don't know, should I give you a quick pan of in here? Do, 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 do. It's really bad. So I'm gonna clean the bathroom until I need to switch my laundry. Big cleaning day. I've made massive progress. Um, there's a lot of recycling put away. I even cleared out like my work bag because that was full of junk. Switch the laundry, we're all good. But I wanted to show these. This was like, how much was it? Like, it was less than $4. It was like three something in Trader Joe's. And it was this adorable mini felted wool garland and like in a little red, green and white, kind of an off-white colour but I thought it was like really cute but it was also like really lightweight and miniature so it's like something I'm buying to like purchase to have here so I'm gonna try and figure out where I'm gonna put this make it a little bit more, you know, festive in here because it's like the end of November, you know it's the Late Late Toy Show, um, if you're Irish, you know it's gonna start in a couple minutes, the news is just over I was listening to the news and it was just like weird, I guess <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these. I could put it over, you can't really see, but you can see the top wire, my lights. I got these lights, fantastic decision. So glad I got them. Um, but I'm thinking I'll put these up over the window so that like when I walk in, you know, it's still, still quite a mess over there. And my nightstand, that's the worst of it. But have it there because I don't think it's super long so I think that's what I'm gonna do and I want to book my tickets for the Met tomorrow and I need to email my mom's cousin there's a bunch of stuff so then I can just put on pajama shorts and sit here and needlepoint how cute is the garland twice on the background and I'm gonna do my nails I just put it on mute because I'm not getting copyright claimed things are so much cleaner now and as I showed, my little garland is up. It's not that cute though, I have it stuck up, but it'll do. Um, folding clothes and everything is like the easiest part of this, honestly. Um, and sorting out like the drawer beside, in like my bedside table. So hopefully my stuff is dry soon because I just want to like get that all figured out. Um, also, yes, there is Old Navy Super Cash taped on my wall, so I don't forget about it because um, I need to get more work pants and I want to use the discounts that they gave me. Things are just so nice and neat and tidy, but my nails are destroyed. So I'm going to fix those, which means I can't needlepoint, but needs must. 
it is so much later now. I watched the toy show. It was really cute. I think it was a much better one than it had been in years. Maybe that's... I wasn't like really, really watching it, but um, it, was, it was really cute. Um, I also watched the Bake Off finale with my piece of cake and it was lovely. Um, I feel like I was going to be happy no matter who won the three finalists. So, you know, it was... That's why it was such an easy watch. And then I was watching some 60 Days In. Also, these are my little lights, so cozy. Um, I had a clip, I did actually film a clip earlier, or like two clips earlier, but I just looked at them because my roommate was playing music really loud at the time. And um, it's in the background, it's really annoying and it would get copyright claimed, honestly. So what else do I have to, oh, I have booked my ticket for the Met tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go to Annie's Needlepoint, which is really exciting because that's like, where I first kind of saw Needlepoint and now like it's such a big thing for me um my also so I obviously got my vaccine um but I have like I feel completely f other than like the tiny remnant of my cold um I feel completely fine now except I think the lymph nodes under my arm are swollen because my armpit hurts really bad um it's like really it's awkwardly uncomfortable like it's it's actually bothering me but there's really nothing I can do about it um just thought I would update you I have finished stitching except well I finished the blue I need to still finish the little bit of silver on the canvas I'm stitching I don't think I showed that but I'll probably show it tomorrow because of any needlepoint stuff yeah I feel like this vlog is going to be a little bit long so I guess I'll probably just end it tomorrow not vlog Sunday I'm gonna like pick out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow check the weather and everything, and go to bed. Good morning, so I've just left the Met, um, a lexicon of fashion in America, a lexicon of fashion. It was really, really, really good. I walked around some other exhibits then afterwards, um, and this morning, like earlier this morning, I just spent some time stitching, and now I'm going over to Annie and Company, because it's just a little walk from here. So I did not film in there because it was so busy, that was just like so overwhelming to get like all of that sort of selection um but i ended up just buying fibers because there's some other things that are kind of on my wish list before some of the canvases i saw on there but it was very nice to be in the needlepoint store all of the fiber selection was just amazing so i'm gonna see what time it is and i'm probably gonna go back to brooklyn now i'm guessing um i don't really know what else I wanted to do. Um, I'm still trying to like not, it's very cold out today. I'm not trying to get too cold because of my cold and it's getting loud. So it's gonna move on. <laughs> so we're back with the lights again. Well, the lights aren't on, but we're back in my room. Um, I ended up actually running to Ulta um, which is why uh, you saw the little Macy's um, in Herald Square, the little belief um, lights, so cute. I needed to pick up one or two things and I decided I would do it today instead of tomorrow. I just had some pizza. Um, I got a slice on my way back because I was so hungry. And I am going to probably just needle point for the rest of the evening. Actually, I'll show you my needle point. That's what I kept meaning to do so this is what I'm working on right now and you know what's funny sometimes it's kind of hard to see the design but it's much easier to see it here also yes there is a diagonal line you know stitchers will know I'm stitching in the same direction I have no idea why it appeared but it did I wasn't stitching with the piece for too long either so you can see here this one is filled in in like a silver sparkle and then the top one up 
I don't have a free hand there, uh, is almost done. And I'll do the other one of the little Chrysler building. I think it's so cute. Um, so that I got in Rita's Needlepoint. And then today I went to Annie and Company and it was quite busy because they're doing a pretty good sale. Um, and I was, well, first of all, they gave, they were giving these out free, which was amazing. I was there and she was like, oh, see those, those gray bags? There was like this whole big box of them. She's like, they're great for our whole projects. You can get one, just take one. And I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, yeah, yeah, they're free. Like take as many as you want. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just took the one cause like I don't need any more, but I thought that was super nice. So this is the canvas I already had. It's a gorgeous little nativity scene. Um, it's kind of hard to see it in the bag. I got it in Tapisserie in London. If you see my London, do I have a London vlog? I'll link it in the card. And then um, these were the fibers that I picked out for it. So I got a really nice rich navy blue, a black, and then I got silk to my braid, which is for 18 count. And this is not 18 count. This might be a foreign language to you, but I think I'm just gonna use two strands. So yeah, I really enjoyed going to the Met. I really wanted to go to some of the other exhibits that were on, like the temporary ones, but the line was huge and my bag I had forgotten to take some stuff out of my bag from my work bag and it was like really heavy I just wasn't into it so I was like you know what I was there for like an hour and a half and I decided to leave and I'm like I'll come back another day um, but I want to check out some of the other museums as well so I guess this is the end of this vlog I feel like there was so much of me like in my room because I'm not that great at filming outside I think it's weird when you have the mask on um, and I tend to keep it on all the time. It's getting really cold here in New York, but it's about to be Christmas. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a vlogmas situation. I might make a schedule for that, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram at animebydesign and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.